This may look like normal water, but it's actually instant ice. And we're gonna show you exactly how to make it. Put purified water in the fridge for three hours, then move it to the freezer for two. This is going to super cool the water. We learned about this water in disguise from Bill Nye himself in virtual reality. And just like that, how do you make a rainbow out of soap? Let's find out. Cut a water bottle in half, cover it with a makeup wipe and color your rainbow. Mix dish soap and water and dip the water bottle into the mixture. Finally, blow into the bottle and now you know. Can we make better slime than Bill Nye? We heard that if you take conditioner and add some coloring and cornstarch, then you have homemade cloud dough. But Bill Nye told us that if you take warm water and glue, then add some baking soda coloring and saline, you have homemade slime. This is the best slime we made. How do you make an instant slushy? We're going to show you. Shake up a bottle of soda and put it in the freezer for three hours and 15 minutes. This is going to super cool the soda. Now release the pressure slowly. And just like that, how do we make this rainbow race? Let's find out. Fold a paper towel and cut it in half. Color rainbows on each side of the paper towel. Now dip both sides into a glass of water. Watch the colors travel through. And now you know, fake or fact. We heard that if you take Mountain Dew and add baking soda, soda and hydrogen peroxide, then it glows. But Bill Nye told us that if you take some zinc powder and charge it in the sun, then mix it with water and turn off the lights, you have a homemade glow stick. Which one do you think is? How do you make toothpaste for an elephant? Let's find out. Add some hydrogen peroxide, food coloring, and dish soap to three tubes. Now mix together yeast and warm water. Finally, pour the mixture into the test tubes, and now you know. Can we make better crystals than Bill Nye? We heard that if you take some pipe cleaners and shape them into daisies, then dip them into boiling water and borax, and and leave them overnight, you have crystal flowers. But Bill Nye told us that if you take some paper and shape it into a mountain, then add some crystal solution and food coloring, you have a crazy crystal mountain. So what do you think? Can we make better slime than Bill Nye? We heard that if you take clear glue and food coloring, then add borax and water, you have homemade water slime. Incredible. <laughs> but Bill Nye told us that if you take cornstarch and add some water and food coloring, then you have something that's both liquid and solid. It's called oobleck. Which one do you think is best? Did you know you can stack liquids on top of each other? And we're gonna show you how. First, add a layer of corn syrup to a glass. Next, fill a third of your glass with water and slowly add your vegetable oil. Now it's time to test your density by dropping a screw, a grape, a bottle cap, and a piece of foam. Should we try a nine layer density tower next? How do we make these rainbows rise? Let's find out. Add a spoonful of egg whites and food coloring to six paper cups. Scoop some baking soda into the cups and mix it all together. Finally, add some vinegar and now you know. How do we make this glitter glide? Let's find out. Fill a dish with water, add some glitter, and squirt dish soap onto your finger. Now place your finger carefully in the center of the glitter and now you know. This may look like Diet Coke, but it's actually an instant slushy, and we're going to show you how to make it. Shake up a bottle of soda and put it in the freezer for three hours. This is going to super cool the soda. Now before pouring, release the pressure slowly and just just like that. Can we make better slime than Bill Nye? We heard that if you mix white glue, shaving cream, and food coloring, then mix in a solution of borax and water, you have a bowl of fluffy slime. But Bill Nye told us that if you take warm water and glue, then add some coloring, baking soda, and saline, you have homemade stretchy slime. So which one is best? How do we make this rainbow disappear? Let's find out. All you need is some markers, paper, a plastic bag, and a large container for water. Draw your rainbow and place your picture in the plastic bag. Now outline the rainbow on the bag and slowly dip it into the water. Water. But where did the color go? It's all about refraction. Light rays travel in a straight line, but they bend as they pass from one substance to another. Try this at home for yourself. Can we make better glow sticks than Bill Nye? We heard that if you take some glow sticks, crack them open, then drip them into a mixture of boiling water and soap, you have a crazy glowing potion. But Bill Nye told us that if you take some zinc powder and charge it in the sun, then mix it with water and turn off the lights, you have homemade glow sticks. So which one do you think is best? How do you make fireworks in a jar? Let's find out. Fill a jar three quarters full with water. Then add a small layer of vegetable oil on top. Carefully drop in red and blue food coloring. Now wait for the coloring to slowly drop and now you know. Can you make instant ice with soda? Let's find out. We know that if you take some water, put it in the fridge for three hours and then put it in the freezer for two, you have instant ice. But we heard that if you take some soda, shake it up and put it in the freezer for three hours, you have an instant slushy. How do we make this floating rainbow? We're gonna show you. Divide your water into five glasses and add coloring to each one. One. Add salt to each glass except for the red, going up by measurements of half a teaspoon. Finally, add the blue water to the bottom of a clear tube and slowly add the rest of your colors. Watch how they don't mix. And now you know. How do we make these monsters explode? Let's find out. First, draw some monsters onto clear plastic bags. Now put a large scoop of baking soda into some paper towels. Add some food coloring to vinegar and pour it into the bags. Add the paper towels back in, shake the bags, and now you know. This may look like regular Sprite, but it's actually an instant slushy, And we're going to show you how to make it.
Cheers to that, sister. Shake the bottle for one minute, then put it in the freezer for three hours. This is going to super cool the Sprite. Now before pouring, release the pressure slowly. And just like that, what happens when you mix cornstarch and water? You get something that's both liquid and solid. It's called Ublek, and we're gonna show you exactly how to make it. Add some cornstarch and water to three separate bowls. Leave one white and add blue and red coloring to the other two. Throw in some glitter, combine all three colors, and now you know. What happens when you balance hot water on top of cold water? Let's find out. Add some red food coloring to hot water and blue coloring to cold. Now hold a playing card over the top of the hot water and flip it on top. Slide the card out slowly and the colors don't mix. But if you flip them the other way, the cold water flows into the hot. And now you know, this may look like normal water, but it's actually instant ice. And we're gonna show you exactly how to make it. Put purified water in the fridge for three hours, then move it to the freezer for two. This is going to super cool the water. Now stack an ice cube in a bowl and just like that, how do you make a lava lamp at home? Bill and I taught us how in augmented reality and we're gonna show you. Fill a vase a quarter full with water and finish it with vegetable oil. Add 12 drops of coloring into the oil. Now break two Alka-Seltzer tablets into six pieces, drop them in a bottle, and now you know. Is this water frozen or is this video fake? We tried the viral frozen water balloon hack and the balloon exploded. But then on round two, we filled up a balloon with water and taped a square to the balloon. Then we poked a tiny hole in the middle of the square and now you can see. This is a crystal flower and heart that we made right at home. But last time we made a crystal, we listened to Bill Nye and used the solution in this science kit. But we found a hack to make an even better crystal. Enter borax. First, grab a pipe cleaner and create any shape you'd like. Next, tie them to popsicle sticks with string to hang in your crystal solution. Now fill up three jars with boiling water and add six tablespoons of borax to each. Carefully lower the creations into the solution and leave them overnight. Now, Bill may teach us how to make a crystal mountain in augmented reality, but we think our Valentine's Day science is actually better. And after a little patience, check this out, the perfect Valentine's Day crystals. So tell us, who did it best, Borax or Bill Nye?